How does a pressure cooker work? The sound of a pressure cooker may be startling, but it is a call to you that it is doing its job. Yes, food will be served soon. There are two very important things happening inside the chamber of a pressure cooker. Steam and pressure. A combination of steam and pressure make the pressure cooker the efficient kitchen delight. The two work together to cook things in no time. One of the reasons we use water to cook food is because it is a better conductor of heat than air is. You can raise the temperature of water to transfer its energy to the water in food, basically cooking it. A pressure cooker increases the pressure so that the water will come to a boil higher than its regular boiling point which is 100 degrees Celsius. But this is only half the reason why it takes so little time to cook food inside a pressure cooker. The increased pressure inside the cooker literally forces the heat into the food. Think of the pressure as an invisible hand pushing the extra hot steam into the very core of the food inside. But if the pressure is like a crushing hand, then why doesn't the food come out all smashed? Well, this is because the steam applies uniform pressure to all the surfaces of the food and that leaves the food unsmashed. Parts of a pressure cooker A pressure cooker is made up of a pot, a lid which fits precisely on the pot with a locking mechanism, a rubber ring that goes between the lid and the pot so that no air can escape, a valve on top of the lid with a release whistle. There are two extremely important parts in all pressure cookers. The rubber ring that goes between the pot and the lid ensures that no air escapes from inside the container. If it did, then the pressure would not be able to build up. The valve on the top is a safety measure that makes sure the pressure does not build up to dangerous levels inside the pot. This could lead to a potentially dangerous explosion. It is designed to allow some of the steam to escape after the pressure inside reaches a certain point. And with that startling whistle, we know how much the food has been cooked. Project Ask your mom how long different foods would take to cook inside a pressure cooker. Ask her to tell you in how many whistles, not actual time. When she is cooking these different foods, see how long it actually takes. Here are the names of some foods you can try. 1 cup of rice, 4 potatoes, 1 cup of dal.